Good afternoon. Uh, good start, Eric. Good <laughs> afternoon, and uh, welcome back to continuing coverage of the GAC Volleyball Media Day. Uh, at this time, we welcome in representing Southeastern Oklahoma State, Nicole Solom Mitchell and Ruthie Forson. Coach, thank you for joining us. Same to you, Ruthie. Uh, as we have with the previous coaches, we ask you to kind of an opening comment on how the fall has started. And then uh, Joey and myself will ask both you and, uh, and Ruthie some questions. So without any further ado, we'll turn it over to you. Me? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, uh, so far things have been great. You know, we've got a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of new faces. So it's been great to see the girls gelling together and, and working hard and competing in the gym. It's always great to have the music going and um, just seeing the competitive competitiveness going on uh, in the gym. Um, but it's, it's been a fun environment so far. It's, you know, our, our returners are great leaders um, and I have 12 new faces. So having those returners um, leadership um, and expectations of what this program is is doing moving forward to help those newbies. Um, it's always it's always great to see those connections. Coach, it's your fourth season with the program, but it's been a while since you've had what you're looking to have this year, and that's a what could be, I guess, best described as a normal season, a regular season, where yeah. you had a, a spring and a summer and, and fall camp and heading into the year. So talk about it, what, what it means to you now, really just, I guess, in light of that, your second season with the program. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm like fourth year, but sometimes I still feel so new, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's great to be back to some some normalcy here. And August is is always an exciting time on campus. And, you know, with football coming in and us coming in and cross country and all those things, it's always great to to have the feeling and the excitement of, of getting started. So we're excited. We're, we're excited to get going and, and get moving. I'm, I'm ready to compete. Um, like I said, we've got a great group of girls here that are um, are ready to do some damage. So we're we're excited. Ruthie, when she talks about doing some damage, that's uh, that sounds pretty cool. Don't do it to the new facilities; they look yeah. too nice. And it seems like they they get better all the time. Can you can you talk about uh, what's behind you right now and and uh, your your where you get to play this year? Oh, um, this is our home. I mean, it's all new. Uh, I came in and it was brand new. Um, we're still getting new stuff. Uh, I'm excited to play in it. It's a good, it's a good place. Now I know that uh, the folks who who follow Savage Storm volleyball uh, want to see more of you on the court and and uh, at full strength. You're one of those players too. When when I hear your name brought up around Bloomer Sullivan, you're one of those one name players. It's just hey, have you seen Ruthie? Have you seen what Ruthie can do? Have you watched Ruthie play? Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. But I also don't really like being in the spotlight. So I think uh, <laughs> it goes back to my team. I mean. I wouldn't be here for without coach. I wouldn't be here without Taylor. And uh, I'm thankful and blessed for this opportunity. Well, you're one of those players that you get an opportunity to share with your team. Uh, you, you have a better than 8.6 assists, but also you have better than 1.6 kills per set, uh, as well as 2.6 digs. I, I mean, it, uh, you really are the epitome of an all around player. Talk about your game. Oh man. Um, <laughs> I'm just thankful. I mean, I'm, a setter so my position on the court is kind of I mean you kind of gotta have it to have hitters I mean um I don't know I mean I love the game I love the position that I'm in uh, I couldn't do it without my passers and we couldn't score without my hitters so I'm thankful for I can't I mean I'm a left left-handed setter which I'm grateful for but I couldn't do it without my passers and hitters so Coach, I'm going to direct this to you because I did put uh, Ruthie in a difficult situation to talk about herself. So I'm going to let you talk about her for just a little bit because uh, she she does bring a lot to the court. She does. You know, uh, Ruthie, Ruthie, I think, was my my hidden gem a little bit, um, you know, um, coming in. Um, after recruiting her, you know, lefty setter, I think she goes above and beyond what's needed for, for her, for her team. And kind of like she said earlier, she is all about the team. She puts the team before herself and that is just the true um, epitome of her character. So I could not have recruited a better kid. Um, um, you know, we're blessed to have her on our team with us. And I think she's a great leader on and off the court. She does the right things and, and leads in the right way. Um, but her, then her skill, uh, she finds ways to score. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's that's one cool thing that you talked about her, her kill percentage. 
um, or kills per set, um, you know, sometimes her kills per set are higher than some of our, our actual attackers. <laughs> and so that's, that's a huge benefit for us. And I think, you know, after her freshman year of, you know, just her and I having a better relationship and getting to learn one another and her understanding our expectations and, you know, my, me figuring out what, what her range is, is, you know, I can put it on Ruth and Ruth can get it done. Um, and so that's one thing that if we're ever in a bind, Ruthie will take care of it kind of thing. And she's great to her, um, to her passers and supports her passers. Um, and then she's a really good um, at distributing where the set needs to go. And if it's not there, she's going to handle it herself. So um, we're, we're super blessed to have her with us in, in the blue and gold. <laughs> well, coach, you mentioned it being a fourth season. It's starting to feel normal. Um, <laughs> But there is some changes that you've uh, recently gotten to experience here by becoming a mom. So, <laughs> so how is that uh, change brought about how you're, how you're coaching? And do you have about 20 babysitters now oh, within, uh, yep. within a fourth radius yeah. of you? Yep. Miss uh, Poppy Sue is my daughter. She is about three months now. Um, so she kind of lives in the gym with us. Um, it's uh it's been an interesting fall so far my husband is on staff with uh football here and so we are quite busy in the fall and so um she just is, is around the school all the time but um yeah it's it's been an interesting adjustment but i think it's i love that she's going to grow up in the gym and i love that she's going to grow up with we've got 18 on the roster she's got 18 sisters right now and they love her just as much as i do and you know she was in the gym the other day for team photos and everyone, can i hold her can i hold her i was like yeah i need a break right now <laughs> like you can take her so um yeah it's just a, it's a blessing that you know at southeastern we're in the environment that that's welcomed and um i feel feel at home when she's here with me and that that's um accepted here you know what i mean that i can bring her into the gym and that that she's loved and and my my kids love her um and admin love her here and so it's um you know especially with my husband being on football staff that it's we're we're se strong you know we're we're an se family here so it's a it's a very cool thing very cool experience and i'm excited that she gets to see her mom do what she loves so i think it's a it's a very cool thing I would imagine not a lot of orange in that baby's eye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. So who did you, so I guess if you did, who did you lean on as, as it was, you know, as you, again, first grade being a mom with the other coaches in the league, um, just how you start to figure out all that balance? Yeah, I mean, that, that's hard. It's definitely hard with, with travel and stuff and, I know Anna at Oklahoma Baptist and um, Meredith at Harding, you know, moms and especially because uh, Meredith, her husband is on staff as well. And how do they do that with, with their kids and create that home life balance. But um, all the coaches, volleyball coaches in the GAC have such a strong um, connection that I feel I can really ask and, and lean on them. Sheree and I are really close um, that I really feel connected to them that, um, I'm struggling in any way like that, uh, you know, I can reach out and stuff and ask questions or how did, how did you guys do this with kids? And uh, how did you maintain a, a balance between home life and work life and, you know, wanting to put everything into 18 of my kids and um, making sure that they're prepared for what they need to be prepared for, but also being balanced and making sure my three month old is, is taken care of at home as well. So um, we've just got such a strong group of, um, of coaches here with, with the volleyball in the GAC that, um, I know that I can reach out to anybody and that they're going to be helpful and supportive no matter what. Ruthie, you were talking about your team and, and how big, a uh, everything goes through team. And I appreciate that thought. So you're one of the upperclassmen now talk about some of these new faces that are coming in and, and, uh, what's it been like for you having a role, more of a leadership role this year? Oh, I like it a lot. Um, I like being in, being put in that position and all these new people. I mean, we have 12 new faces, a lot of freshmen, uh, but they all came in with like open minds, wanting to learn new things. And they really bought into the program from the very start. So it hasn't been super hard, but I like it. It's I like being upperclassmen. And I have five other girls that I get to lead with upperclassmen and it's just exciting. And they're all open to new things and they like going along with everything. So Ruthie, as someone is a team that is versus all native Texans, uh, how special is that first trip when you get to go back to your home state for an opening tournament? Oh, I love it. Um, I love Texas always born and raised. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. I've never been to Odessa, so 
I'm excited for that new little out in the middle of nowhere, but <laughs> I'm excited for it. <laughs> also, as um as someone who has looked at but never once been to the uh the Texas State Fair, what are the debates like what's the best thing, what's the got to have item that you all discuss if when the uh, Texas State Fair comes around? Oh man. I mean, my go-to is probably fried Oreos or the <laughs> mine's definitely fried Oreos, one thousand percent. No, it's a great experience. Uh, I I will straight admit I go for the food, but it's a big place, fun experiment experience. So <laughs> What about the rest of the team? Anybody else uh, argue vociferously for something else? Do what? What do any of their teammates, where do they argue with things that they have to have? Probably food, to be honest. I think they'd all <laughs> go for food. I'll go for food. I'd agree with that. I said, well, Coach, you know, to, you know to avoid going to Texas then for that three-week stretch if they're all I gain, know. You know, <laughs> gain weight going to the fried food. <laughs> yep, yep. Come on, Coach, let's go. Let's go. Yep. yep. Well, beyond that week and then you guys playing close to home, uh, with the second weekend of, uh, of, the, of the preseason tournament play. Just what do you hope to get out of those opening, uh, you know, 10-game stretch there before you really hit the, uh, the league play hard with uh, the Southern Nazarene that opening uh, Tuesday night? Yeah, um, you know, I think preseason tournaments are always, uh, you know, I think, it's, I think it's important to get out and play, play different teams. You know, I think we start off with Augustana from the Northern Sun, and I think it's important to compete and compete at a high level and, and kind of test our boundaries a little bit and see, see what we've done in, in the two weeks of preseason. Um, but I also think it's um, important for the girls to have those experiences, you know, the bus rides and, and the travel and, and the eating out at the restaurants together. I think it's, I think it's an important thing for them to, to have those experiences together. Um, but um, we're excited to play new people. You know, we're excited to, to get out and play, um, different teams you know I think it's it's the experience of different leagues um different conferences so um we're excited it's nice to have a little bit of you know we're going far for Odessa I mean seven hours and then um Oklahoma City you know so parents can come and travel and it'll be good Jay I'll turn to you if you have any other final questions for Nicole and Ruth we really hit uh, deep on where to where to go at the Texas State Fair. I appreciate that in case we do go down there. <laughs> no, just uh, looking forward to watching you all play. And, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, facilities getting better all the time. And I'm sure for all those new faces that they're appreciating that. And, and so I look forward to seeing you all success to you this year, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Thank it. You. So, Coach, one question did come to mind before we, uh, we bid adieu. You guys, you know, qualified for the tournament last year, which was a big step after spring training where everyone was invited. Just how do you maintain yourself in the top eight and move up to maybe getting, uh, you know, getting to wear the home jerseys in that first match? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, um, it's what are we willing to put in? What's the work that we're willing to put in? And I think this group that we have this year is, um, is willing to do a lot and, and they're, they're willing to compete and, and they're hungry. Uh, they're aggressive. Um, we're eager. We're really, really eager, you know, and I think, like I said before, the returners have done a great job of facilitating um, conversations with, with the incoming kids on what our culture's like and what our expectations are, and those kids have bought in. Um, and so it's continuing to build, um, build what we're doing here at Southeastern on, on a daily basis on, on our actions and on, on the court and off the court um, that, um, that's going to get us there. You know, and I think we got to fight hard, but I've got the right crew to do it. I think we'll leave it there, Coach. And, uh, and Ruthie, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Best of luck to the Savage Storm this fall. And, again, thanks for taking the time today. Thank, thank you so much. much. Coming up at 1220, we will uh, visit with Arkansas Tech. So we will see everybody in about six minutes. Thank you. Uh -huh.